This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ninja 3 CPU cooler from Scythe. The Ninja 3 being named after the Ninja, the Japanese silent assassin. Uh, there's a very good reason for that. The Ninja 3 is designed to offer absolutely top-end but silent cooling, as is the entire Scythe line. The Ninja 3 comes packaged in a rather busy box. Uh, clear picture of the Ninja 3 itself, but it is obscured by a couple of different stickers. Ninja 3, 6 core ready, LGA 1155, 1156, 1366, also fully AM2 and 3 compatible, 2 plus 3 plus of course included. This is the silent version, which means it's coming with an 800 RPM fan rather than the 1600 to 1900 RPM fan of the standard version. Again, Intel AMD ready. Nice clear picture, moving around to the back. We have all the warranty information on the side, the multiple application or multiple airflow uh, pass through structure. It is four separate towers coming up designed to allow air to pass through it in an X configuration, getting more air over the heat pipes. Uses its flippable multi backplate and 800 RPM fan. Moving over onto the other side, a little bit more detail, picture of your backplate and mounting kit, and a couple of close-ups of the Ninja 3's working components. Moving inside the box, we of course find the Scythe 120 millimeter slipstream fan. This is an 800 RPM fixed RPM model. Uh, it will actually spin down a little bit using PWM, but you don't want to spin it down too much. Uh, it won't start if you spin it down too much. And of course we have the Ninja 3 itself. The Ninja 3 is a really interesting looking cooler. Uh, as you can see, it's completely asymmetrical. Looking up top, you've got a great design. The scythe bolts for the top of the heat pipes. Uh, this flame kind of bleeding design with the Scythe logos, and you can see straight through here. As you can see, it is four entirely separate towers joined just enough to hold it together. This is going to allow for a lot of air to come through and get to the heat pipes. Moving down to the bottom, we are polished to a beautiful mirror finish. Very, very Slight hint of milling marks, nothing to be concerned about. Eight heat pipes going through, four in this direction, four in this direction. Again, completely asymmetrical, can be mounted any way. Each of the towers has fan clips. You could conceivably put four fans on here, obviously that wouldn't work. But the point being, you can change your fan configurations. You can do a, tool, uh, do a dual fan any way you like, no matter how this is angled. Also, it gives AMD users a bit of more flexibility, as typically AMD mounts will blow air up. This gives you the option to blow air out the back. Really nice looking cooler from sight. Heading inside the accessory box, find a very good detailed installation guide, nicely pictured, with clear, concise instructions and very large illustrations to help you through. We find a back plate, very similar to that used in the Mugen, uh, a little bit larger, which is curious given that uh, this is a lighter cooler. Um, Mugen would have cutaways here, as do most of the other Scythe products. This uses a full square back plate, very large. Intel and AMD clips, which go onto the cooler itself. Screws and nuts with a little packet of thermal grease, just enough for one application, and two fan clips.